I will sit here. I was probably going to it. Steve Boss reacts to this video by Soft White Underbelly. Oh, Lord. They got some wild videos on their channel. This one is called My Night at P. Diddy's Freak Off. Okay. Several people have told me to watch this. So we're going to hear what she has to say, what took place in one of these freak offs. And I have watched several of Soft White Underbelly's videos, and I do trust them. Um, I feel like they are pretty reputable. Um, several of their past stories have been uh, backed up and have been proven to be true um, with like news articles and all type of stuff other people coming out and verifying their story so um i think they do try to find people who are legit uh, obviously we don't know 100 percent. you know you never know but i'm just throwing that out there that they seem to uh do their research and find people who are uh believable <laughs> anyway uh let, let's hear what this woman has to say though let's watch it was december of 22 Oh, yeah, about to be 20. December of 22, you were here. Mm -hmm. did our first interview. You were just some girl that I met through a friend. Right. And you were doing this interview, and you mentioned something about... I accidentally mentioned it, too. Like, it slipped out. About P. Diddy. About P. Diddy. Oh, this you went to one of his war. parties. Yeah. Crazy party. And uh, he's in the news now because of all the... Scandal. And they didn't believe me. But when it started, like, when it started coming out, people were, like, mentioning me, like, you were telling the truth about it. And I'm like, duh, I'm not going to lie about something like that. And I, I kind of, like, tried to That's briefly sad. talk about it because I knew it wasn't going to seem true because it was just too much. It was too, too crazy. Many. It was too crazy. People were gonna think that I was just lying. It had like a lot of people involved, celebrities and stuff. So I was trying to be real vague about it, but mm. that party traumatized me. Oh. How'd you get invited to it? By being with a prince um, that I met in LA. He lived in Glendale, California. Okay. And, um, you know, long story short, I got out of this crazy little contract and I was looking for somebody to invest in me. And I knew somebody who knew somebody that was like, I want to introduce you to a prince. He know a lot of celebrities, da da da, da producers and stuff. So I never put two and two together that this prince knew P. Diddy. As you say a prince, prince of what? Um, he was from he was, he was a Arabian prince. Really? Yes. Wow. And he really. I used to live in Glendale. It's a lot of people. Was a prince for real, but um. I wasn't worried about him being a prince. I was worried about who he actually knew. So when he invited me to, um, he met me, he said, I want to invite you tomorrow to uh, Music Ultra Week, whatever. And it's like an event, uh, Ultra Music Week. It's like an event for like two weeks where people party, 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 including P. Diddy. And they party at Club Live. Um, they party at like just in South Beach, Star Island, like where P. Diddy stays or throw his freak offs at. And... I never knew that we were going to go there because I was there for two weeks and I knew it was something fishy. He kept saying, I got a surprise for you. I got a surprise for you. I'm like, but I'm only supposed to stay for two weeks and I'm here longer than three, I mean, than two weeks. And it was almost a month. It was basically a month by then. And he was like, no, because I just want you to meet one special person. So he ended up telling me like when we went to Club Live, he was like, guess where we're going tonight? I'm like, where? He's like, to P. Diddy's house. I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, that's crazy because I hear a lot about P. Diddy and I'm like, his house for what? Like, to go sing? He's like, no, he's throwing this wild party. Da -da -da. I'm like, oh, okay. So we went from Club Live. It ended at like, the clubs end at like three or four and not two, like how out here is. So we waited around the mansion, the Prince's Mansion, for about an hour. And then as soon as 6.30 hit, we went. We all got in the car, like a big Uber. She got receipts. And um, me and all the other girls. Now, mind you, I'm the only black girl. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm about to meet Pete Diddy. Oh, you know, like, I'm probably going to have to sing for him. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. And I just tried to, like, keep my composure. So we get there, and... That's when stuff got weird. <laughs> and that's why they lock up our phones because they know what we see in there. You know, it's he he can get in trouble like right now. So basically, so we arrived, security guard patted us down, they put our phone in this little bubble case. So the bubble case is 
closed. They can't get unlocked until we walk out. So as we're in there, the only way of us taking any type of pictures is if we get in the photo booth. He has like a team love photo booth or whatever. Take like four pictures. So I, you know, got pictures. I still got everything in my snap too, like of the photos, everything. That's all you could get. So I'm walking around or whatever. So one of his sons, I'm not going to tell you which one, but it was like recruiting like whoever they wanted to go inside the house because the back, the... The freak off is inside the house and in the backyard. So you have the pool and they're playing loud house music. Like Mark, the house music, it makes you feel kind of woozy, first of all, because it's like a rave or something. Dun, 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 dun. And it's real loud. So you can't really see nothing, but you're seeing everybody like walking around, drunk, hopping around. It's still 7 a.m. So the sun is like coming up and People are walking around naked, period. Let's get into it. They're walking around naked already. And they're in the pool, skinny dipping. And they're drinking mimosas in the pool. But then it's like a waitress walking around giving people drinks, just passing people drinks, you know. And people are just taking them. Me, I don't drink like that. But I'll, I'm like an occasional drinker. Like I'll drink if we're partying or whatever, just for that occasion. So because people are going to keep saying drink, drink, drink. But I didn't take a sip a drink of a drink yet. But I just had it in my hand. So one of the sons seen me walk in my job with other girls, but we split up. So I was walking with one girl. She's a Puerto Rican girl. So P. Diddy's son was like, you. And I'm like, me or her? And then he was like, no, you. Come here. So I went to him and he gave me some shoes. So these shoes was like some um, terry cloth, like robe shoes, white shoes. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these? He was like, go in the house with these. He was like, everybody who gets these shoes, you get to go in the house. But I'm thinking you could just go in the house if you want to, but everybody can't go in the house. They're literally selectively picking who they want. So I'm like, well, what about my friend? He was like, no, only you. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm holding the shoes. I'm walking around. You know, I'm a good, loyal friend. I'm not going to go inside a house where they say my friend can't go. So we just walking around mingling. But we tripping out, looking at everybody like they off everything smoking and jumping yeah, around like hooligans. And so I seen P. Diddy or whatever, and I seen him with the prince. I'm not going to say what he was doing, but something really, I get real nervous. <laughs> something real it's crazy because I don't like to really expose people. I could talk about me, but when it's about, like me and my family because it's us. But when it's other people, bro. Girl, spill the tea. Doing something real sexual, that's all I'm going to say. Oh. Um, so that we could see and so that we can get turned on, okay? So he's doing something with himself. And I'm like, <laughs> girl, do you see him? She's like, yes, but mind you, we're screaming like, girl, do you see him? Oh my God, because of the music. And I'm just like, whatever. Then he starts to act like really obnoxious, like I'm the king of the world, jumping around, doing all this stuff. So I'm like, okay, that's regular oh P. Diddy shit. But what got me was how he walked up to me and was like, why are you not in the house? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, how are you enjoying my house? So we had a little talk or whatever. He started talking about all these things. Oh, yeah, you're the one that, you know, I seen was telling me about the prince. He's like, um, oh, yeah, um, it's very nice to meet you. Like, your life is not going to be the same. Da -da -da -da. They, we started talking about going to Cuba. Are you going to Cuba with us? I'm like, what? And that's the thing. I didn't really know about this. So this is when I start asking around or whatever. And I said that in the last interview. But to get to the point, I ended up going in the house because he was on me, like, going to that house. I'm like, okay. And then the person that he was dating at that time, we're not going to say her name, but we all know. She came and was, like, looking at him like, what are you doing? Because he was talking to me for too long. So she came to, like, rubbing his shoulders or whatever. And he just I'm pushed her. Oh. And I'm looking like real uncomfortable, like, oh, I know what this is about. I don't want to be in the middle of there or whatever. Ooh. So that's what made me go into the house because I'm like, okay, let me just go in the house. So I told my friend, like, wait right here, girl. Let me just put on these shoes, see what this house is about. Walk up in there. I don't judge people because at the time I was just smoking weed. But you know when people are out of their mind and you know when people... You know what you don't want to be a part of. And it's just like, I'm seeing stuff that you see on the movies. I'm, this corner, this got going on. This corner, they over here doing this. This corner, they over there having sex. This corner, I'm just going to say, because I don't know what I can say, because I'm not trying to be incriminating myself. But they were dressed up like little Harold Juku Barbies. 
Like what? Little people, okay? We're not gonna say what type of little people, but like a fetish. And I'm looking like, what are they doing here? Like dressed up, little um, red lipstick, like they weren't supposed to be there. But I'm just looking like, maybe it's some type of production going on, but why would they be at this party at seven o'clock in the morning? With grown people like why why would they be here so i just like okay when like, she said right. little people i'm thinking of like you know little people <laughs> you know, uh i can't say the m word because that's offensive but i'm thinking of adults who are little people but the more she's talking like oh why are they here with adults it's like oh she's talking about minors <laughs> but then when i'm looking in this corner this corner this person laid out and i'm looking like what's going on then I'm seeing like Instagram models or whatever. I'm like, oh, hey. So I'm kind of getting distracted, feeling like kind of comfortable. Like she's here. Oh my God, she's here. And then I see P. Diddy, you know, walking through the house, like with his eyes on me. Like, you know, like, is this, you know, you see, like, are, are you agreeing with this? Is this is, and I don't. Now, mind you, I still got my friend out there. So oh, I walked out of the house and I'm telling her, like, oh my God, bitch. Like, this nigga is, this is, oh my God, you should, she like for real. But I'm just like, I'm not even tripping. Like, oh, well, like this thing is weird. Like, you know, so I'm really looking at the situation. Like, I don't even want to be involved in this type of stuff. Because once I see something, I can't get it out of my mind. And I'm like a hypochondriac. Like I keep on having flashbacks about it. So whatever. So of course I come out and then here he goes again and another rapper well-known rapper comes and start feeling on me like hey you so now it just seems like everybody is faded at this point they're either drunk or on all the drugs obviously with this house music so now i just feel like trapped in like i don't like it and i know the devil when i see it because by me being so spiritual and tapped in i know when something is not right I'm not judging, but I just don't want to be a part of it because how am I going to get out of this shit? Like, I'm already here. And then I heard conversations or whatever. And then P. Diddy was like, that's the one that I want. That's, I want her. So now I feel like, you know, they plotting on me. Like, did you bring me here on purpose? Like, is this the, you know, producer you was talking about? Person, and I came I here specifically up, with the sure. prince to rub elbows with people. Because also it's like, what was you doing with the prince? You know, like, she clearly was into some shit. And he like, yes, we're going to bring you to the party. I'm going to really show you some shit. And she probably was like, okay, this is too much. I was with the other freak shit, but this is too, too much. I ain't with all this. That's what it sounded like. Network for um, the music week. But then I put two and two together, like, the prince has been saying your life is never going to be the same. You're going to be happy. Somebody's expecting you. And I just feel like that was the time that I was going to get sex trafficked or, you know, drugged or, or something like that. And then they kept trying to make me like, I've been around celebrities before. If a rapper wants you or somebody wants you, they're not going to do it. They're going to send somebody else to do it. So yeah. if a waitress is coming or another girl or a pretty girl or a guy, they'll sick somebody on you. I take this drink, do this, do that. And then you just feel eyes on you, like watching to see if you're going to do it, when you're going to do it. So I already know what time it was. And it's crazy because I had to leave that place. In my last interview, I told you I had to escape. I had to leave from the prince because he was telling me we was leaving for Cuba the next day. Yeah. Cuba with who? Would be Diddy or what? Like, th this is all crazy. So to okay. see all of this stuff come out. And I escaped by leaving. I had to call the police and everything. I had to leave with the prince. That's another story. From the prince. From that house. I didn't leave with the other girls. I had to get my phone unlocked, of course. But like I had to like catch a, Uber, a taxi. Not even an Uber. A taxi to another location. And then I ended up going to the airport. And I ended up leaving. Because I just felt bamboozled. First, I'm getting lied to about how long I'm supposed to stay there. Then you keep talking about I'm supposed to meet this producer, but we're not talking about nothing with music, but you're talking about going to Cuba. We didn't even do what we were supposed to do in Miami, or did we do what we were supposed to do in Miami at this freak-off? But because I'm not cooperating with what I see, and I feel like like that's what the Illuminati and stuff is about, like a secret society. Like They want to see what you allow, what you cool with, and then... Next thing you know, boom, take that drink, you're drugged. Take that, you're out of it. Take that pill, because everybody was off something. But you have to be being in that environment many, like that. How many people were at this event? Uh, like hundreds. Even when it was a certain amount outside, but in the house was really crowded. 
You know what I'm saying? And you would think that, like, it was, yeah, it was more people in the house. Did you walk around? Yeah, I walked around for about five minutes. I seen what I needed to see. And I was like, no, ma'am. No, sir. Because it was like selling your soul at that house. And if you like that, it's nothing to you. But if you're not like that, you're going to feel uncomfortable. And then it's like, at first, I used to think P. Diddy was like, so he like he always talk about team love and all of this stuff. Like, he's all about, no, he all about sex himself. And I know sex because I've dealt, you know, I've dealt with men, Mark. So I know when somebody is trying to lead you on to stuff and sitting back, acting like he just this macho man. And he is a charmer, though. That's one thing. Like, he will charm the fuck out of you. But for me, that's so game tight. I'm like, I know what this is. And I'm ready to get to the music. Like, if that's the case, you should have been like, don't tell me you're about to change my life and da 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 and, Oh, have you been writing? Oh, that's nothing to you. He was like, have you been writing the songs that um, I've seen been telling you to write? Because the prince wanted me to write out all the songs I ever made in my life. I said, without the beat? He's like, yeah, just start writing songs. So you never know. They'll take my music, drug me, fuck me, do whatever. And just throw me away, on the radio. basically. Or after you have something on me, when we do do the music, you have that on me that this happened, and now I'm blackmailed or some shit like that. So, mm. <sighs> touching all on me at that party, even the rapper who touched all on me, like, that rapper was cool. Like, I was liking that rapper. But when they were like, hey, you were doing all that, what can I do? All I could do is just say, like, move his hand, like, oh, I'm fine, but, you know, trying to, like, still be cool. But I'm like, why do everybody feel comfortable to just touch on you? Even P. Diddy, like, why do you, why I look up and you're right there? And then, like, in my face, like, are you, like, in my house? Like, look, like it's weird. Like, looking at him, it's like when you're a kid and you're getting in trouble by your parent and you can't look them in their face. And it's like a demon. I'm telling you, like, this dark spirit, like, he possessing you as he's looking at you. That power, that control. So I'm like, I read the art of seduction, motherfucker. I know what you're doing. That's and you're trying seduction. to really seduce me right now. And, oh, uh, take a drink. Oh, no. Do this. Do that. Go in there. Like, it's just not nothing. And I want to know why me go in the house and why not the girl? So now you're picking and choosing. So it's fishy to me. So when all this stuff started coming out, I was like, I knew I was right. I knew it. Like, it ain't no doubt about that P. Diddy was doing all that. And like I said, I don't tr judge because I've been around people doing cocaine. And, but these hard drugs that they were doing and just, I ain't gonna lie, it was orgies and stuff going on. So all of this stuff going on, I'm like, why is people doing stuff all in the open? Like, that's just offending me and assaulting me, period. Because where am I at? I didn't sign up for this. And how can I really get out? So I have to, like, ease my way on out. You know, it's security, but they not caring about what happens as long as that phone is closed. Mm. They, damn, they, they damn near don't care if somebody died up in there. Ain't nobody can feel me. And they were, they were famous me. people or not? It was a whole bunch of famous people. Yeah. Like four famous people and then some um, Instagram models. Mm -hmm. And the whole time he just was, like, trying to undress me with his eyes. And I was thinking, like, I'm. this is really no cap. Because at that time, you know, I've always been skinny. So at that time, the son who came up to me, I was like, boy, do it, is it because I resemble your mom? Like, you know, like, Kim Porter, like, stuff like that. Like, you just never know. Like, I feel like, you know, P. Diddy does have a type. I feel like everybody that was in that house, it was a certain type of person. It was a certain type of something that he wanted and what he liked. And you could just tell, like, he get whatever he wants. That's why he has no problem touching on you, being all in your face, popping up on you, being obnoxious, and just hounding you until you do what he say. And that's just yeah. how the industry is already, especially him, because he got a lot of money, you know? Because you're, you're a singer as well, right? Yeah, so they probably like, do you want this opportunity or what? And I'm like, not that damn bad, but I do want it. I do. But if I already got That's a bad vibe and I'm seeing book. stuff that you're into, I already know how this is going to be. So I don't want to like, you know. Where they take these uh, aspiring artists and promise that they will advance their careers as long as they suck some dick. As long as you participate in this orgy. As long as you take these drugs. It's like, 
we've seen this over and over again on it's been exposed on fucking love and hip hop just random you know reality shows that we've seen um stories that have come out lawsuits where you know artists have said that you know these high profile people have you know bamboozled them and fooled them into thinking they were going to be a star the dream he's i think he's fighting a case right now that uh is about this chick who he promised she would be as big as Beyonce and Rihanna or some shit. And they be believing it, but it's like. <laughs> Ignoring some red flags and then I'll be in trouble because of you. Like literally in trouble. Like we know his past, like Shine, the rapper, you know, being in jail because of him. Like don't think just because I'm from where I'm from. You could just do anything. She seems to and be that's a the, bit more smart though. That's why I never really said nothing about it because I just felt like. Who am I? You know, he got money. Like, ain't nobody going to believe me. But I have all the receipts. I have it all in my snap to this day. It never went nowhere. That was just my experience just being in Miami for the first time. I didn't know that I was going to end up at P. Diddy's house. Did you take photos outside the house? When I got my phone back, yeah. Videos or something? Mm -hmm. I took videos um, when I was going to the house before I knew this was some weird shit. And then when I got my phone, I ended up... Yeah, recording. And then I have the shoes on. <laughs> oh, you had the shoes? Mm. I left with the shoes on because I don't know where I put my shoes at when I put those on. And I was, and it was a lot going on. Um, it was real loud. So, I don't know. It, I, it just tripped me out. And I was like, is he gay? You know, like, no, and then nothing saying, against gays. I just, I couldn't put my finger. Shit. I was like, what is this dude into? But... His house, his freak off. No, not like that. You know I'm going to make everything to a joke, but this is a real serious situation because it will traumatize you because now I ain't trusting no producer. I look at everybody like if I went to the top of the top and I've been looking at him like this top-notch mogul and like whatever. But child, it's a lot. But it's some stuff, you know, that I did leave out because I don't I don't want to say too much but um because I told you there was some celebrities in there but for these girls that did get drugged and did take these drinks she's like Carisha I feel like it's because everybody was all having fun you know you wouldn't think that somebody would do something like that to you until you get to seeing everything and once you're intoxicated it's too late it's just too late. So that's why you gotta watch um, what drinks you take. And Fuck. they was just pushing them on us too much. Take a drink, take a drink, take a drink. And I'm like, no. Cause I was already, you know, sipping a little bit at Club Live. So I wanted to like, mind you, I'm thinking like, he gonna ask me to sing in a minute. I don't wanna be toe up, you know? Mm -hmm. Until I put two and two together. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm glad you got out and survived. Yep. I'm always surviving. This is no joke. Like, You're a survivor. For real. And it's like, I'm still going through stuff. You know, you, you don't survive being traumatized. And these things do, do traumatize you because it's like, dang, I can't never get around this. I could always end up to this sex or some creep shit or somebody taking advantage of you or something or feeling all on you. And you can't do nothing because you thought the streets were dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you. Mm. But, um, yeah, so I, I just want to see, like, you know, what's going to happen because I know a lot of people was, he went to trial today. Mm. And so I don't even know. It's going to be in the news for a while, then. It's going to be in the news and a lot of stuff is going to come out. So don't be saying I'm lying because I wasn't lying. This is all alleged, but right. it sounds, yeah. sounds like it's pretty consistent. with the Alleged, news. right. Yeah, absolutely. And you did say this, what, like two years ago? Exactly. And I told you I got sex trafficking vibes from it. Remember? I was like, he was trying to sell us. The prince to D. You know what I'm saying? Which one do you want? Which one? I want that one. What does it, it feel like to be peddled off like that? To somebody powerful? Is it, is it, is it... It's scary. It's scary because what could happen. But it's like, come on, you know, I'm honored to be... <laughs> chosen? Chosen, period. But I don't want to be... Which is honored. I don't want to end up in a ditch somewhere, you know, just no, because you know. he's choosing so many people and assaulting people. I don't want to be assaulted and I don't want to be filled up. If you're going to fill me up, make sure you ask me. Can I touch you? No? 
you're beautiful. You not just you in my house, so I can. And I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> you know, like, tell me first, fool, because I would have charged you when I was playing. But no, you're not playing. Because that's definitely the vibe I'm getting. Like, obviously, she's she cool with selling ass, but she wants to be in control, okay? She does not want to be, you know, forced into anything or drugged unbeknownst to her. She wants the control to make that choice, which she has every right, you know? So, I, I agree with that. Hey, your body, your choice, you know? Does that say California? Period. Um, <laughs> she got a California tattoo on her. Um, so yeah, obviously that's the vibes because she did consent with the prince. It sounds like, and they were into some shit, you know, but she just didn't, she wasn't into all this shit and valid, valid. Cause some people will look at this and be like, Oh, well look at how you dress and look how you carry yourself. And it's clear you, you a hoe, da da da. But it's like they are still in control of their bodies and what they want to do with it. Like that doesn't give anybody the right to force them into anything or to be like, oh, you already selling ass. So yeah, you're going to do this. That's not how the fuck it works. That's some grapey type shit. So. And I just make, you know, it, it did hurt my feelings. So, you know, whatever. I got over it and I didn't do music no more after that because I was like, I'm cool on music, bro. That was scaring out of the industry. Yeah, like, I'm, like this is what they, this is all they want. I just... Let me just make an album and sing and write. You a producer, ain't you? But no, you're a freak and a creep. Yeah, ask permission first, because you know, no means no. <clears throat> exactly. And also, given that she saw underage people in that house as well, I I'm sure she's just like, nah, this ain't it. Like, this is some weirdo shit. This is illegal. I don't want no parts of this. And this feels very dark and demonic. I'm good. So that's why it seems that like she wasn't into it. Um, so, yeah, that's the situation. So nobody try to victim blame here and be like, oh, she clearly with the whole shit. Okay, she with the whole shit under her own terms. <laughs> Period. She wasn't with, with that type of whole shit and the trafficking and the illegal whole shit. She wasn't with that. Well, I mean, hoeing is illegal, but you know what I mean. When it comes to children and trafficking people, it's like, all right, this is this is a lot. Um, so yeah, very interesting and very believable to be honest. She didn't say anything that was too outlandish to where I felt like, oh, she lying. And the fact that she had some receipts that she showed, and the fact that uh, she already touched on this a couple years ago before this even blew up, like I, I feel like that also adds some more validity to her story. But yeah, th this was wild. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.